30 സെക്കൻഡ് വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഫേസ്ബുക്ക് ലൈവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്തോ ഓക്കെ on behalf of igno regional center cochin uh, myself dr prasita unnikrishnan assistant director warmly welcome you all in the facebook live session on importance of having qualifications in home based healthcare and translation works as you all know we have been conducting facebook live sessions uh, in a series of facebook live sessions i must say for the july 2021 admission cycle which is presently ongoing so uh, this facebook live session is specifically focusing on programs which are targeted at home based healthcare and translation related programs i would be covering the following programs uh, that is certificate in home based healthcare chbhc post graduate certificate in malayalam hindi translation post graduate diploma in translation and master of arts translation studies so these are the four programs which i plan to cover through this facebook live session of today i am sure after viewing this facebook live session many of the students who are interested in making a career in home based healthcare or in fact uh, who are also interested in making a career in translation or some uh, some of the those who are viewing this facebook live session they may be very good with translation as well so for those students this would be definitely helpful and those interested learners can definitely join on to these programs and as well. as you all know uh, ikindra gandhi national open university is one of the largest open universities in the world and has accreditation from nac a++ it's a central university which was established in 1985 and uh, uh, and it was established basically with an objective of democratizing higher education and taking education to the doorstep of the learners in fact we say that igno is a people's university people's university means uh, uh, a student uh, of any age minimum age is 18 years any age can join this program of igno and uh, uh, pursue his dreams of having a higher education degree so basically igno operates from a uh, igno headquartered delhi Uh, there are 22 school of studies under igno headquarter delhi and there are various administrative divisions as well uh, under which uh, this uh, the programs are the programs are specifically being offered through the various schools uh, which are at situated at igno headquarter delhi so today are uh, basically igno being a people's university we expect uh, that the students and viewers who are watching this facebook live session Uh, should be benefited in one way or the other all details about igno are already available on the igno website www.igno.ac.in presently uh, uh, we have 56 regional centers all over india uh, and myself i am speaking from igno regional center kochi in kerala we have three regional centers that is regional center kochi regional center trivandrum and regional center vadagara and regional center kochi is one of the largest regional centers of south india uh, and uh, it has uh, one of the highest enrollments as well as far as students are concerned 
So today I'm going to talk about uh, the first program, which is Certificate in Home-Based Healthcare Program. This program is, uh, uh, is being uh, uh, given by School of Health Sciences, that is SOHS, which is located in IGNO headquarters, Delhi. So under this school, the program is being offered through the various regional centers across India. Basically, a CHBHC is a six months program of 14 credits. Uh, it has a, a, a theory component of four credits and the practical component is of 10 credits. So basically the eligibility criteria is for 10th pass students. So any uh, student who is 10th pass can opt for this program. The basic objective of this program is to prepare a workforce in the country with the skills required to look after elderly and people suffering from chronic progressive illnesses. The program will also help the family members and patients to cope with the stress of care to their long-term ailing relatives, which will add to the quality of life of patients as well as of relatives. Uh, if, if I want to specify the broad objectives of this program, uh, this program is intended also to provide care to people at home setting after discharge from the tertiary care. Because many times we have elderly parents at our home uh, who at times, um, and even after being discharged, they need medical care even at home. So for uh, such elderly, uh, elderly people to provide a, a, a care at a, in a home setting, uh, for those who want to aspire to make a career in such, uh, uh, such an aspect, uh, uh, this program would be very beneficial. In fact, uh, the main objective of this program is to prepare a workforce in the country with the skills required to look after elderly and people suffering from chronic progressive illnesses. So this is basically uh, to provide support to the elderly population. And uh, once you complete this program, you can definitely have an employment uh, and provide support to, the, to, to look after elderly people who are suffering from chronic progressive illnesses. The basic eligibility criteria for this program is 10th pass. Uh, the medium of instruction for which this program is available is English as well as in Hindi. So in both these languages, this program is available. As far as the duration of this program is concerned, uh, this program minimum duration of six months and the maximum duration of two years. So it, it is offered in both January and July cycle of admissions and the student who is interested can apply uh, in both the cycles of admission of no. As far as the fee structure goes, the amount is rupees 2,400 for a full program. That is for the six month program, you only need to pay that much of amount. And you also have the flexibility to complete the program in the maximum two years duration. So uh, to talk about the program structure, as I've already mentioned before, there is a four credit, uh, IGNO uh, studies are basically credit based. That is one, uh, one credit equal to 30 hours of study. And this includes uh, uh, your assignments, your, um, uh, your uh, all hours which are included for studying that particular course. So here, basically, uh, you have to study 14 credits to complete this program. And the course codes which you have to study is basically, in theory, you have to study home-based care, which is a four-credit subject which you have to, uh, for which you need to submit your assignments and write your examinations. And uh, there is a practical component uh, in this program, which is a 10 credit program, wherein the skills related to home based healthcare uh, are available. That is, practical skills uh, which are related to home based healthcare is being explained. Uh, and uh, maybe you have, to, you, you have to attend the practical sessions also, and that is 10 credits. Totally, uh, you need to study, a 40, uh, study 14 credits uh, to complete this program successfully from. No, I'm sure those who are interested in making a career out of helping the elderly people in distress and those, those who need uh, home and health care for such learners, definitely this program would be of very use. 
Now the next program which I would like to explain is postgraduate certificate in Malayalam Hindi translation that is the PGCMHT program. Uh, this program is being offered by the School of Translation Studies and Training, which is one of the schools which is situated at Igno Quarter, Delhi. And under this school, this program is being offered to our learners. The postgraduate certificate in Malayalam Hindi translation is intended for those who have had graduation degree with knowledge of Hindi and Malayalam and who aspire to make their career in the area of translation. Supposing you have done, you have a basic graduation degree and you have a good fluency in both Malayalam as well as Hindi languages, then you are the right candidate to apply for this program. And you have an interest in basically translation work as well. Then, and if you are interested in making a career in this translation area, then definitely you should opt for this program that is the postgraduate certificate in Malayalam Hindi translation. Especially in ministry jobs and all, you would have seen the uh, translator jobs. Uh, the role of a translator is very, very important, especially in government jobs and uh, jobs at the ministry level. So, for those uh, candidates who want to make a career in translation, definitely this program would be very useful. The main objectives of the program are to facilitate interlingual, intralingual academic and cultural activity between uh, these two Indian languages and to promote national integration. And in addition to this, the program also aims to create job potential and confidence in the people who work through these Indian languages, especially who are working professionals and who are using these uh, languages, especially Hindi and Malayalam on a regular basis. For those uh, 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 interested professionals also, this program would be very useful. As far as the eligibility criteria for this program goes, you need a basic graduation degree and the medium of instruction is Hindi. As far as the duration of this program is concerned, uh, the minimum duration for this program is six months and the maximum duration is two years. And this program is being offered in both January and July and of admissions. As far as the fee structure is concerned, uh, it is rupees six, 1,600 for the full program. So uh, this is the program structure of this PGCMHT program. As you see, you have one project, uh, which is a four credits, that is MTTP2, that is Anwar Pariyojana, that is a translation project, uh, which a, a, a student has to pursue. And the other courses are theory-based, uh, that is the MTT1, which is the Bharatiya Bhashan, uh, Bharatiya Bhasho Me Anuvad. Then we have this MTT4, that is Malayalam Hindi Anuvad, Tulana or, or Punhas region. And then MTT5, that is Malayalam or Hindi Ke Vipinna Bhashik Shetro Me Anuvad. So these are the three Hindi, uh, these are the three papers, uh, theory papers, I must say, which a student has to clear who opts for this program. And then you have one project that is the Anwar Pariyojana, wherein also you need to study this. Uh, you have to complete this pro uh, project as well to complete your program of PGCMHT. So this was all about PGCMHT. Now I come to the next program uh, that is the Postgraduate Diploma in Translation and in Translation. So this program is also being offered by the School of Translation Studies and Training. And this program is also uh, it plays a major role in our professional area in our country uh, in understanding the diversity of Indian culture and society. And it aims to teach translation from Hindi to uh, from English to Hindi and vice versa. So uh, definitely this uh, for those who are interested in translation works, this program would also be very useful. The, as far as the objectives and importance of this PG diploma in, in translation is concerned, 
Uh, postgraduate diploma in translation is designed to develop the translation skills of the learners and train them as translators. In fact, uh, this is a program where in, uh, which also enables those who want to make a career in translation works. For them also, this program is very useful. Besides imparting the knowledge of the theory and practice of translation, it enables the students to understand the socio-cultural dimensions of translation. The program consists of four courses and a project uh, comprising practical translation and uh, this program uh, this program is a program of translation from english to hindi and vice versa and it is advisable for students seeking admission in it to have proficiency in both languages so this is uh, one of the major ob uh, objective of this program i must say and definitely for those who want to make a career in translation as far as the eligibility criteria, medium of instruction and duration and fee structure of PG diploma in translation goes, the basic eligibility criteria is bachelor's degree and the medium of instruction of this program is Hindi. You should have a proficiency in both Hindi as well as English, uh, but the medium of instruction is Hindi and the duration is like minimum one year and maximum three years which which is being offered in both january and july cycles uh, as far as the fee structure of this program is concerned it's uh, uh, rupees four thousand for the full program and the uh, uh, for the uh, this program you need to uh, at least uh, uh, have a minimum one year study as far as the program structure of PG Diploma in Translation Studies is concerned, uh, this is the program structure wherein again you have to study all these five components. Uh, first is PGDT1, that is Anuad, Siddhant, or Pravidi, uh, which is a six credit uh, course. Then you have the PGDT2, that is Anuad, Kabhashik, or Samajik Paksha, that is also six, credit, six credits. Then PGDT3, that is Vyavarik Anuad Ke Vivit Star or Shetra, that is also a six credits. So PGDT4, that is uh, Prashasanik Anuad, and then PGDT5, that is Anuad Pariyojana. Anuad Pariyojana is basically the project which is of six credits. So in fact, uh, uh, if you want to complete this program, you need to study totally 30 credits. So after studying the 30 credits only, you can complete this programs and you have to study this five courses which i have mentioned just now so the next program which i come um is uh, come to the focus is master of arts translation study uh, mats it is also being offered by the school of translation studies and training which is also situated which is situated at igno headquarter delhi and basically this program intends to familiarize the learners with the theory and practices of translation and uh, this program is basically built around the concept of integrating learning with research in the vast areas of translation practices in the contemporary time so basically this program is uh, for those learners who are who have a basic interest in translation work but also is going uh, also has an interest uh, in going for research as well in translation works so for those uh, uh, viewers who are interested in translation as well as research this program would be very much useful i must say as far as the objectives and importance of the program is concerned the program provides opportunity for translators to explore job opportunities as academics and translators by honing their translation skills. As a fundamental act of cultural and knowledge exchange, it has become a key issue, in fact, for accessing and managing knowledge as it is, has various aspects like acquisition, preservation, creation, dissemination, and application amongst all. So uh, this underscores the importance of translation training as a vital for knowledge dissemination in the global world. In fact, we are uh, becoming a we have become a global world wherein the importance of translation training is very important for knowledge dissemination. And through this program, the uh, the students are supposed to achieve the same. 
as far as the eligibility criteria medium duration and fees are concerned the eligibility criteria for this program is graduate in any discipline with adequate knowledge of hindi and hindi and the medium of instruction is uh, in which the program is being offered is hindi the duration as far as the duration of this program is concerned it is minimum 2 years duration and maximum 4 years duration and is offered in both the january and july cycle of admissions uh, presently the july admission cycle is ongoing for which the last date is 16th of april uh, 16th of august uh, 2021 the students who are interested in applying can apply through our igno website uh, Uh, through our igno samarth portal and the fee structure is concerned it is rupees 9600 for the full program to be and if you want to pay it year wise you can pay it as 4800 per year so the total program you can you can complete it just within uh, 10000 rupees uh, and uh, this program would be of great benefit especially for those who want to aspire to do make a career in translation or to aspire to make in, in career in research of translation works as far as the program structure of mats program is concerned the program consists of 12 courses and a major project comprising which is the practical component Uh, like in the first year you have to study the following eight subjects so uh, one uh, so in the first year of the program you have to cover all this eight uh, subjects which are given on the screen that is mtt 10 anuvad siddhant which is a four credit program mtt 11 anuvad itihas or parampara that is a four credit program mtt 12 anuvad or uh, bhasha vigyan that is a four credit program mttt 13 anuvad ke kshetra that is a four credit program mttt 14 that is anuvad uh, evam bharatiya bhashaye which is also a four credit program mttt 15 anuvad aur sahitya which is a four credit program mttt 16 anuvad aur jan sanchar that is also a four credit program and mttt 17 that is kosh vigyan परिभाषिक शब्दावली और अनुवाद सो दीज आर द सब्जेक्ट्स आई मस्ट से और द कोर्सेज व्हिच यू हैव टू स्टडी इन द फर्स्ट ईयर दैट इज द एट कोर्सेज आर देयर दैट इज द एट सब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव टू स्टडी इन द फर्स्ट ईयर फॉर व्हिच यू नीड टू सबमिट योर असाइनमेंट्स एंड राइट योर टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशंस इन इग्नो एज़ फार एज़ द इवैल्यूएशन सिस्टम ऑफ इग्नो इज कंसर्न्ड Uh, mostly 70% weightage is given to term and examinations and 30% of weightage is uh, given to internal assessment that is to assignments so uh, basically for the first year of the program you need to cover this following eight uh, subjects and for the second year you again have to complete all this uh, subjects that is the mtt Uh, 18 that is anuvad evam antarash uh, sanskrit adhyan which is a four credit program mttt 19 that is anuvad ki rajneeti that is also a four credit program and mttt 20 that is anuvad prakriya which is also a four credit program mttt 21 which is anuvad pr uh, prashikshan which is a four credit program and mttt p 2020 22 is a pariyojana a uh, pro uh, pariyojana which is the project which you have to submit by the end of the mats program and the project is 16 credits so you can see a uh, good importance is given to the project component of this uh, mats program and the uh, uh, the project component is a very uh, important component of our assessment of uh, of uh, igno as well so with the completion of 64 credits only you can complete your mats program from igno so this was all about uh, mats mats program so through this facebook live session i have tried covering the four programs which i had mentioned before that is chbc uh, uh, pgc mhd and uh, mats and uh, all these programs uh, so you should know how you can apply 
to know igno admissions are presently open our admissions are basically offered in two cycles that is the january and the july admissions presently uh, the july 2020 admissions are open and the last date is 16th of august 2021 i have also shared a screenshot of our main igno website that is www.igno.ac.in as a student you can apply uh, you can go to the register online and click on the fresh admission which i have shown on the screenshot and you can apply through our igno samarth portal for any of the programs which you are interested from igno our brochure that is the common prospectus uh, july 2021 is also available on the website you can uh, basically go through all the programs which are available under igno through our july 2021 common prospectus just give july 2021 common prospectus in the search option of igno which is on the right hand corner and you can download the prospectus go through the uh eligibility criteria fee structure and everything about the program concerned and uh, even for the programs uh, which i have talked today through this facebook live session the same can also be viewed through the july 2021 common prospectus which is available on the igno website uh, so i request you all to kindly go through this uh, july 2021 common prospectus and kindly apply within the deadline as given on the igno website so these are some of the basic information which i thought as a viewer uh, you should all be knowing about it no that is we also have a facebook page through which this uh, live session is live streamed we also have a twitter account uh, and all our late, uh, tweets pertaining to admissions uh, as well as examinations and other are also being tweeted regularly we also have an email id rckuchin at the rate igno.ac.in in case you have any queries pertaining to the programs which i have just spoken about or for in for, or for the matter any of the programs about igno please feel free to write to us at rckuchin at the rate igno.ac.in and definitely we would try and respond to the same we also have a youtube channel of igno regional center coaching uh, you can also view all this recorded uh, videos in our youtube channel of igno regional center coaching so request you all to kindly subscribe to our youtube channel uh, the link is already provided that is https www dot youtube dot com slash c slash igno regional center kuchin so this is the link for our youtube channel all recorded videos uh, are being uploaded regularly in this youtube channel and definitely the viewers i would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to our youtube channel so that you would also get our latest updates about igno on the same and uh, we also have the igno main website that is www.igno.ac.in all relevant details and information which i have just provided are already provided on the igno website so you can for any doubts or queries with respect to igno you can definitely search through our there is a search option which is given on the right hand corner of the igno website and for any queries pertaining to any of the programs of igno just put the query in the search option and definitely you will get information about the same i am once again sharing the link for the online admissions that is https igno admission.samarth.edu.in uh, and this is the link for the online admissions for which the last date is uh, august 16th 2021 so this is all uh, the information uh, which i thought would be very useful uh, for you as viewers in fact in case you are interested with any program of igno and uh, thank you all for watching this facebook live session and i am sure uh, with this session you would have got some information about the program which i have shared and basically about igno as well thank you once again for your patient listening thank you